One of the things I talk about, as some of you may know, and I've, I think I've said this before to camera for the insider, is about having a strong why. Uh, Simon Sinek uh, wrote a great book about having a strong why in your leadership and as a communicator. And uh, one of the things I do is draw three circles on a board and the inner circle says why, the next circle says uh, how, the outer circle says what, like a bullseye. And the point he makes and I want to make is that, is that all communicators have to deal with those three things. We all have to deal with, with what and how and why and who and where and when to get something done. But the, the best communicators start with the middle circle why and work outwards. The poor communicators start with the outer circle, you know, who and what and how, and work in eventually to try to find a why to justify and strengthen all that and inspire people into that. But if you, if you went to a company and asked anybody working there, uh, what do you do here? Most people would be able to tell you, well, you know, we make shoes or, you know, we make uh, uh, tools or we make uh, whatever. Um, then if you ask them, well, how are they made? Chances are fewer people would know how, but then if you asked why, why are you making those tools or why are you making that piece of equipment or that item, then very few people would know why, or their why would be kind of um, a weak why or the obvious off top of their head why. Uh, and that is always true as a communicator, that the people who, who are the best communicators a deal in why and then out from that comes a how and a who and a what and a where. Uh, organizations that are strong on, on what and how and who and where and when but weak on why tend to be very driven by rules and regulations. They tend to struggle to keep people on board and inspired because how and who and what is not inspiring. But why we do what we do and why we uh, get up early and stay late and why we uh, pay the price that we do and go through the changes that we do and lay out the expenditure that we do and all of that uh, is, is, why, is why people are sustained in the how and the who and the what. So as a communicator, you've got to figure out before you say what you say, why am I saying this? Why does it matter? What happens if anybody, everybody ignores this? What's the worst thing that could happen if nobody pays attention to this? That'll help you track the size of the why attached to your what and who and how and where. So get a strong why and speak out from that into who and where and what.